Berkshire Hathaway out with its annual letter to shareholders. Bill Smead, CEO of Smead Capital Management. You're an investor in the company. What were your takeaways? Well, we always look for the subtle things that Buffett has to say, and he reminds people it's not a very good idea to chase expensive stocks. So he commented about mob enthusiasms, which we had, people asked us before it came out what we were looking for, would he mention that? He did mention that. What but, does he mean by that? Uh, he, he, he means that if you, if you pay up for popular securities, everyone goes unpopular for a while. He mentioned Berkshire Hathaway's had four major declines. So he's saying, look, we're very meritorious. If our stock can go down 40 or 50% four times in a 25 or 30 year stretch, imagine what it's like for very expensive popular securities today. And Berkshire also has $116 billion in cash on the balance sheet. He wants to make an acquisition. Any inkling as to what he might buy? Well, th there's a couple things there. He has two extremely talented stock pickers in his stable, uh, Todd Combs and, and Ted Weschler. Sure. Okay. So if he thought there were lots of bargains for them, he'd feed them a bunch of that money. Mm. But he isn't feeding them a bunch of that money because they're having a hard time finding bargains. So if he's having a hard time finding bargains and they're having a hard time finding bargains and he says that leverage is something to stay away from and he says watch out for mob enthusiasm. I mean, you just keep reading between the lines and what he's trying to tell people is there's a lot of dangers out there based on the current behavior. You know, the, the index is the most tilted toward uh, expensive overcapitalized stocks that it's been since 99, right? The, the S&P 500. The S&P 500. The gains so far this year are 50%. It, it, Amazon and Microsoft mm. and Netflix together make up 50% of the gain mm. so far this year. That's unbelievably narrow activity. So you're really not that diversified in these, in these S&P 500 it, it, funds. It, the reality of the moment is who's going to win the battle? There's a tug of war right now between the most successful stock in the market, which trades at 250 times trailing earnings, that's Amazon, okay? And, and then the fact that the average stock is pretty reasonably priced in relation to long-term treasuries, which Buffett keeps repeating, mm. and he did again today. Yeah, and, and just quickly, on the broader markets, uh -huh. right, we had a sell-off a few weeks ago. I uh -huh. think the market right now is trying to figure out, do we retest those levels, or are we gonna continue to reach new record highs? What do you say? Well, the best thing for the market would be to spend a lot of time churning sideways and digesting what had gone on last year. If you're, you know, if you, if you want to be a, a bull for the next 12 months, the worst thing it could do, I think, is just take off to the upside and melt up, and that might be the end of this bull market if they did. All right. Well, Bill Smead, thanks for coming by. We'll watch how it plays out. Thank you.